Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to remove and install a SRAM Dub 30 press fit bottom bracket to your bike. So let's go ahead, let's run through the steps. Right, so here we have the SRAM Dub press fit 30 bottom bracket. So it's into a carbon frame. So to remove this, if you've got something like tool like that, this just happens to be a park tool one I'm just using to demonstrate it with. Now this would be for a 24mm axle and as you can see this would just go straight through, you wouldn't be able to actually hit that out. It would just pass straight through and out the other side like that. So that's no good. So to make sure it's a nice tight fit in there. What I've got here is a head cup removing tool. Now this tool is a lot larger than that one as you can see. So this one is a really tight fit in there. What I mean by that is even the diameter of this tube is almost the same diameter as that, give or take. So if I put that through, for instance, you'll see that that hasn't even got through to the other side yet, and already it stops there. It's that tight of fit in there, which is absolutely ideal to knock it out with. Like I said, that's a head cup removing tool, not a bottom bracket one. And it's absolutely perfect fit in there just in case you was wondering what the tool is. And that tool happens to be 28.6 millimetres tool diameter. Right, so first of all, I'm gonna remove the drive side cup, so the right hand side one, if you sat on the bike. So what I'll do, like I said, I'll put the tool through being as it's a really tight fit, it'll stop like that. So then all we do is squeeze up the end and pull it through until it just goes in behind the cup and it'll spring out like that. And that's a perfect tight fit in there. Then what we do is we get a soft blow hammer and hit the opposite end and we'll knock that out. So there we have the right hand cut, the drive side cut removed out of there. So now what we do is just pull the tool out again all the way through and then we just do the same thing on the left hand side. So I'll put the tool back through there's a sleeve in the middle between the two in there. So again, we just put it through and pinch it up and keep pulling it until it just goes behind the other the cup like that. And it's still in the sleeve in the middle there. And then we'll just do the same again and hit that one out. So there we have the remainder of the bottom bracket. We've got the cup on the end and the spacer there in the middle. So what you do now is just clean up your bottom bracket area and then you're ready then to press in your new bottom bracket. So once you've got the bottom bracket area cleaned up then ready to install the new bottom bracket. As you see there the spacer that goes in the middle is handed right and left there. It's got the arrows on it so you can't get it the wrong way around. The cups for either side are the same, so there's no left and right on them, so they're identical. So what we want to do before we put this in is just put on the right hand side, there's a lip around the seal there where the bearing goes. So 
I'll just put a bit of grease around there, just to help it slide together a bit easier. So then you get a cup and then push that into place and it stops like that. So that's the drive side one. So obviously when it comes to installing it, then some people put them in dry with no grease on it at all. Some people put a bit of grease on there, some people lock tight it in, make sure it's thoroughly clean. If you're going to lock tight it in, if you have a problem with it, stop it creaking. So what I'm going to do for this particular one is I'll just put a smear of grease on the actual, around the cup. And then a smear of grease just on the bottom bracket area. Like so that's going into a this is a carbon frame there's no aluminium in there at all so if you're going to push it in then make sure you use carbon friendly grease that won't attack the resin and then what we can do is we'll just put a bit of grease around the left hand side o-ring as well like that before we put it through and we'll just sit that in place like that and then what I'll do is just put a smear of grease just around the inside of the cup for the other side as well as on the outside and again we just run some around the uh, inside of the frame so I'll just put a smear around there as well And then once we've done that, then we can just push this one in place. Just get them pushed in there tight. Like that. Now we're ready to use the uh, tool to push them in with. Right, so we've got the press in place now so we just start pushing it in just keep turning it until it's fully in so both bearings as soon as they stop then that's enough and you've installed them Right, so we got the right hand cup it's all the way in now and it's stopped. Just got a bit more to go on the left hand side. Just get that pushed in. If you're putting it in dry with no grease on it or anything like that, then when you're pushing it in, you might hear a bit of a creaking noise as, there, as the cups are being pushed in. So once they're right in and they've stopped, then that's that installed you can just back the tool off. And then we're ready to refit the crank. Right, so there we have the crank refitted again. So, should be nice and smooth. So I hope you found the video helpful, if you did remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content, till next one ride safe and I'll see you then.